Hey, what's up, guys? Just wanted to show you the tank since I haven't done a video in a while, a legit video. I showed one the other day about the uh, black dorsal flubescent um, who wasn't doing too well. He's been acting a little bit better, still hasn't been eaten. Um, I'm starting to think maybe he somehow ingested one of the pieces of coral, maybe. And he's trying to digest that. Um, he's got a tiny piece of poop coming out. Probably won't be able to see it on the video, it's tiny. But I'm not sure what's going on. It's been a little more active, though, which kind of makes me a little more optimistic. I really don't want to lose that fish. That fish is going to be absolutely sexy when it's fully grown. But yeah, I'm really falling in love with this tank. Um, looking really good um, loving the rock work that I did the aquascape um, fish are y'all doing pretty well except for the one which I have no idea what's going on with it I tried not feeding him for over a day and that seemed to make a little bit of a difference actually um, fish started being a little more active uh, yeah, I just really have no idea what's going on with it. It doesn't look unhealthy. Um, it doesn't look like its stomach is bloated or sunken in or anything like that, so I really have no idea. Um, my Sangha, that's my baby. Beautiful fish. Um, albino Kobu there. They're all looking good, have good color. Can't wait for some of these peacocks to grow a little bit so they can start getting their color. That red shoulder right there. I don't think he's grown in you know the couple months that I've had him. He has no color whatsoever. But it looked like a male when I got it. it. Started getting a little bit of color. Um, but I don't know if it's just being the smallest peacock in the tank and then having all the other peacocks has some effect on them. I'm sure it does. Um, but yeah, my uh, bushy nose Plucko down there, he has destroyed all the algae in here, which I'm loving. You hardly ever see him either, which is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, he just goes to town all the time. Um, planning on uh, picking up a bicolor 500, maybe two, um, tomorrow. Maybe a male and a female haven't decided yet. Debating on whether I want to try and breed them or not. Um, yeah, I got a guy around here who uh, has a couple of bicolors just holding for me. Um, so yeah, I'd probably go pick those up sometime this weekend. Um, but I absolutely love this tank. I give it tons of attention, a lot more than I give the uh, this one in here. Um, I mean, I do, I do love this tank too. Um, just the other one has become my favorite. Actually, got a fish dying in here. One of those red minor tetras. They're not very hardy fish, apparently. Cause I checked the water conditions and they're uh, perfect. So I don't know what's going on, but somehow I can keep four, but I can't keep five in here. I don't know. Tell me how doesn't make sense to me either. But I really need to get started on this tank. Um, got the eco complete on this side and then just some, uh, I think it's, what is it called? Uh, Carib Sea Sunset Gold Sand on that side. I'm probably going to take all that out and put a couple more bags of eco complete in here before I uh, start throwing plants in here. Got to get rid of all these fake ones in here, like I said in previous videos. I just threw those in there to quiet the fiance for a few months um, she said it needed some plants but I wasn't ready to dedicate a lot of time to doing that yet um, I'm not really sure what kind of plants I want to get yet um, but I do want to get a co2 system I know that for sure um, want to have a nice healthy tank and minimize the algae so co2 will help with that um, I had this tank set up 
probably, I don't know, it's probably late April and I haven't really done much to it since. I mean, I've gotten some fish here and there, but it's going a little bit slower than I had planned on. Um, hopefully in the next month or two I'll get going a little bit quicker. Um, actually, it's, I'm not going at all right now. But for the most part, you know, good looking tank. Has potential. Nothing too special right now. I got some driftwood soaking in another room. Um, the stuff me and AP20 Camaro 10 went hunting for. Um, so that'll end up in here in time. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to do like an Amazon themed tank here. Um, some big pieces of driftwood, big leafy green plants. Um, you know, I got obviously the little pieces of driftwood in here. And that crazy looking one. Sorry, the lighting isn't great in here right now. I only have the one 24 inch light strip on right now. The 36 one is on a timer, which I didn't have enough energy to bend down and flip the switch. You can do that real quick, add a little bit of light. Ugh. That's a little bit better. And there's that dead fish. I'll have to get him out of here after the video. Still breathing, but. Obviously, he's not going to make it. Um, yeah, it's PetSmart fish. They're not the highest quality by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's just cheap. You know, they I'm sure they crossbreed and inbreed tons of fish to, you know, get them to look the way they want. So, obviously, they're not going to be the hardiest fish around. Um, if you're looking for a hardy fish to, like, uh, cycle an aquarium... These guys, I actually did get at PetSmart. They can live through just about anything. The scissor tail rasboras, they are super hardy fish. Um, I've had those for two years now. Cycled three tanks with them, actually. Um, just take them out of one, stick them in the other one to cycle it. Um, and they do a good job. Schooling fish, so they're kind of. Um, nice fish to have in an aquarium. They do get about three inches, but they are like South American uh, origin fish. Um, got some snails in here. Most of them are probably dead. Clown loaches eat them. Um, but I can still keep finding some. So they must be breeding like crazy. There's a shell right there. I haven't seen that one hasn't moved in a couple weeks. Um, I think there's still some bigger living ones in here somewhere. They like to climb up into the filters. I don't know if that's for safety or, or what, but whenever I change the filter cartridges, there's always a bunch of babies stuck in there. So I just pick them off and drop them in here. <sighs> Go take a look at the other tank again. But yeah, this is my pride and joy right now. Um, fish are active, for the most part healthy. I don't know... If like I said, what's wrong with the other one? Breathing slightly faster than the other ones are. Um, real promising looking tank. I've had a ton of compliments on this tank. No negative feedback or anything. Um, yeah, I'd appreciate it if you guys, you know, sent comments my way. What you think? I'm interested in people's opinions, so help me out and make comments, suggestions, advice, or anything like that. I um, guess that's all for today. Thanks for watching, guys.